and as coronavirus cases surge and businesses are shutting down, some families are finding themselves in a very tough financial spot. Yeah, thankfully, local nonprofits like Feeding Tampa Bay are stepping in to help children and families in need. Eight on your sides, Dan Roberts is live at Feeding Tampa Bay with more on all of their efforts. Hey, Dan. Hey, Avery and David. So we all know Feeding Tampa Bay serves thousands of families on a daily basis. That number is increasing due to the coronavirus pandemic. Here this morning, I'm joined by Feeding Tampa Bay's president and CEO, Thomas Mance. We have a lot going on here in Feeding Tampa Bay. Talk about how you are helping all of those families out there. So one of our goals is to make sure that we can uh, get food into the homes of families that we serve already and those that need us. We also want to practice social distancing and good behavior. So Absolutely. one of the things we do is we pack out what we call family boxes or disaster boxes so these are items that could get a family of three or four through about three or four days right they're basic food items we also have a healthy version of that which gets uh, we focus for folks who are uh, most uh, um, uh, vulnerable uh, that we get healthy food into families as well so both of these serve as a method of taking care of families who need our services talk about how this is different from how you all would originally or obviously serve families on right. a daily it's a great a great question we really believe in in client choice people need to select the items that they want and so they shop for their families most often uh, but our goal here is we need to practice safe distance and social separation and so we're making sure that we can drop these off our trucks can go deliver them or families can be handed them uh, through into their car so there are various means that we can uh, get to folks so uh, and again they're good uh, stable uh, items that really support a family uh, during times like this. Talk about how many families are receiving these boxes. Right, so we, every single month, we ship on the equivalent of about five to six million meals, right? So that's every single month. In a disaster like this, and what we expect to see, we would expect that number to rise by 20 to 25 percent, depending upon what the economics are and the duration of the crisis. So we've got to go above and beyond where we normally are. And this is where we always ask the community to come in and support us by uh, uh, donating funds or volunteering or anything they can do to help our cause. Absolutely. Great work Feeding Tampa Bay is doing, especially during this pandemic. You know, we do have all of the information you need on whether or not you need some of these boxes or if you want to go ahead and volunteer. That's all on our WFLA website and our app. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Deanne Roberts, 8 on your side.